Hello gin lovers, welcome back, I'm Bobby Freeman and today we are going to be reviewing this little fellow, which is of course Four Pillars Gin, all the way from Australia. One of my very good subscribers, Craig Stowers, has sent this to me, so thank you very much Craig, you are truly a gentleman and I salute you and Craig is of course one of my, in fact my very first Patreon supporter. So thank you very much Craig and you will have your name in the credits at the end of the video. Now a lot of people have been asking about this one, in fact Anthony Sosa, one of my subscribers, got in touch yesterday and said, have you tried the Four Pillars yet? You've got to try it. Because I've, I assume it must be very popular in Australia where it's from, but I've not heard of it here in the UK before, so I'm very excited to try it for you today. So let's have a little look about what they say about it on their website, shall we? So here we go, I shall channel my inner Australian for this, uh, who shall I use? Uh, Steve Irwin, yes, the late great Steve Irwin, and uh, perform my Australian accent for you, so here goes. Four Pillars Rare Dry Gin is crafted to deliver the best of all worlds. A perfect classic gin, and also something that would fascinate and delight even the most hardened gin fanatic. We're using whole oranges, which is unusual, but Australian citrus is highly aromatic and supports the spicy botanicals like cardamom. The cinnamon and star of anise add rich fruitcake tones, the Tasmanian pepperberry leaf provides warmth rather than heat, and the lemon myrtle is a beautiful alternative to lemon peel. Oh my god, this is shaping up to be brilliant. I, I love the fact they use this lemon myrtle in all the Australian gins. We'd never get that over here. I've never tried it before, but whatever it is, it seems to work bloody well. Because it was in that last one I did. What, what was that one? The, uh, the, the Melbourne Gin Company. And that was just about the best gin I've ever tasted. So, enough jabbering on, my friends. Let's get some in the glass, shall we? Right then, let's get the top off, shall we? Pull that off. Now, I doubt there is a cork in here because it's only a small bottle. Let's just get rid of this tin foil, but otherwise I shall lacerate my hand and it'll be quite a violent video, which is not what I'm going for. Nope, no cork. So, let's get the fella open. I can't open it, brilliant. Oh, there we go. We'll cut that bit out, don't we? Oh, jeez, this is embarrassing. Hang on a second. Yeah, you bastard! Oh, there we go. We got it. Jesus Christ, I tell you what, they put the tops on tight in Australia. Right, anyway, let's get some in the... Ooh, what's a good old pour that is. Right then, let's have a good old sniff of the fella, shall we? So... Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry if there's any religious people watching. That's very blasphemous, I know, but... Holy sh... That, do you know I, I, how I was affected when I smelt the, uh, the uh, uh, Melbourne Gin Company? This, it's got bags of what the Melbourne Gin Company are, but a tiny bit more. It's like, oh man, it's just this heady sort of storm of just like fruitiness, but like sort of zestiness as well, but sort of like luscious fruitiness with the zestiness, but then there's like a, a sweetness to it, and then just like this prickly sort of, um, sort of, uh, what do you call, cinnamony sort of essence to it. It's, oh my God, it's a delight. It's a delight. I, I always say, I repeat myself in this program, but I, I don't like to stand around sniffing them, but good God, that is such a nice gin to sniff. I'm gonna have to get this one in the mouth. Right, let's not fanny around. Let's get some in there. Introduce it to a, just a uh, sort of a moderate amount, uh, just a suggestion of tonic, I think. Just about that much, and let's get it in. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Finally, at long last, Australian Four Pillars Gin. Cheers. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I can see what all the fuss is about. That... Oh god, it, do you know what? It's actually quite similar to that Melbourne gin company. There's something about those ingredients. There, there's a sort of a synergy between these Australian gins that I've tried, which I've got them over here as well. The, uh, the Billy Goats gin, the Ink gin, and of course the Melbourne gin company. I, do you know what? I, before uh, Craig sent me these uh, gins, I had never tasted Australian gin before. I didn't know Australians made gin or drank gin. I didn't know it was popular over there, but good Lord. This, we, we, here in the UK, we think we're the, you know, the rulers of the roost, the kings of gin, but I tell you what, those Aussies down there, down under, they are busy beefing away making some extraordinary gin. They don't even make a song and a dance about it because that, oh my God. The sort of citrus in there is citrus like I've never tasted. I almost fell over there, it was so nice. It's just gorgeous, it's sharp but soft at the same time. It's like it's like a, it's like a sort of a contradiction in a glass. It's sort of witchcraft, witchcraft and wizardry. It's beautiful. It's got zinginess, it's got fruitiness, it's got sort of um, citrus forward, it's got the spiciness in there as well. It's, oh God. 
I wish, I, do you know what I wish I could do for the rest of this video? I wish I could just be quiet and just drink the whole thing because seriously, that is absolutely gorgeous. But it's good. there's this kind of, in the aftertaste as well, there's oh, this beautiful sort of floral, a bit sort of sweet floweriness, almost like sort of honeysuckle in there as well. It's just, oh, it's out of this world. I say to you, I say to you, Four Pillars people, keep up, whatever you are doing, keep up this good work because my Lord above, that is quite extraordinary. Is it better than the Melbourne Gin Company? That's the question. That's the question. Is it? Do you know what? That's impossible to call because they are very similar. But I'd have to, I think I might have to do a side by side, like a head to head uh, Australian gin off between the Melbourne Gin Company and the Four Pillars because that, my friends, is amazing. Craig, you are the best. You seriously are. Well done. Oh. So let's talk money, shall we? So it's a little bit on the pricey end again. So it's uh, 75 Australian dollars, uh, 38 of the finest British pounds, uh, 48 American bucks, and uh, what am I gonna do for euros? Uh, uh, this is a 56 euros, oh, I don't know if that's offensive, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what accent that is. French, I suppose, a generic sort of European sound. Whenever I do a French accent, for some reason, I wanna do this, I go, I speak in this outrageous accent. Oh, you British, don't get away from me. I don't know if that, that's not almost certainly offensive. If you are offended, please write in and let me know. Now, you're probably thinking that is a little bit on the pricey side. However, if you are in the UK, I have found it. I've done a little bit of research, you'll be pleased to hear. And I have found it on Amazon for uh, £33, which is not too bad for a small sort of... In fact, bringing it all the way from Australia as well, you think with the export costs, you'd think it would be more than that. But that's not too bad. It's slightly pushing my ceiling, as you know. But I tell you what, that if ever, if ever ever a gin was worth it, then that fella there is worth the extra three pounds if you are in the UK, because it is, it is quite literally extraordinary. In fact, you know what? Sod it. I don't do this very often on the Gin Reviews. I'm going to down it. Here we go. Four pillars. Cheers to you. <laughs> Boom! Straight down. The highest seal of approval you were received from anywhere. Apparently this gin has received uh, many, many wards at from, uh, uh, from uh, New York and Los Angeles and China, all these different sort of uh, spirit shows. However, you have got the seal of approval, me downing it in one on No Nonsense Gin Review. So you are welcome. Right guys, that is me done for another day. What a video today, what a video today. I hope you enjoyed that, I certainly did. Uh, if you did enjoy, as always, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to my channel and press the little bell icon so you get notified when all the vi videos come out. And like Craig Stowers, who sent this uh, gin to me, don't forget to go onto my uh, Patreon page where you can access all sort of exclusive goodies and backstage and oh, I'm sorry, I swore that I didn't really mean to. But anyway, it's very interesting and go and have a look at it, please. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I am Bobby Freeman and I will see you all next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.